Hello, I'm Dr. Leon Kelly, Deputy Medical Officer for El Paso County Public Health. Let's talk about how you can help fight the COVID-19 pandemic. The new coronavirus mostly travels from person to person by droplets that leave the infected person's mouth and nose during sneezing, coughing, or even talking. These droplets contain the virus, and if they land on other people or objects, the next person may take the virus in through their mouth, nose, or eyes. If we don't act to stop it, a person sick with COVID-19 typically infects two to three other people. So you can see how if we don't slow the spread of the virus, one person infects three, who then infect nine, who then infect 27, and things can get out of control pretty fast. Add to that, if a sick person goes to a crowded public place like a church service, sporting event, or party, they can infect many of their family, friends, and neighbors. That's where you come in. We have several simple and proven ways to prevent out-of-control spread of the virus. First, like always, if you're sick, stay home. A good idea even not during a pandemic. Second, even for those of us who do feel fine, we may be infectious but only have minor symptoms or just don't feel sick yet. It's best to stand at least six feet away from one another so that those infected droplets can't make it to the person next to us when we talk or cough. We call this social or physical distancing. And third, until we've got this virus thing under control, we must avoid gatherings that cause simultaneous infection of many people. Under the wrong circumstances, we know it only takes one person to infect many. And while you may be young and healthy and likely to do okay with COVID-19, the person you infect may not. So remember, for every good choice we make, it's not just one person we save from infection. It's possibly thousands.